Hey everyone, and welcome to another episode of Plain Tick. Today, we're heading to the far north, to a land of ice, grass, and hardy creatures. That's right, we're diving into the secrets of the tundra climate. Imagine a place where the mercury rarely climbs above 10 degrees Celsius in the heat of summer. A place where the ground remains frozen solid just beneath the surface, even when the sun shines 24 hours a day. This is the tundra, a vast, treeless expanse that rings the Arctic Ocean. The tundra is a land of extremes. Winters are brutally cold, with temperatures plunging to minus 30 degrees Celsius or lower. Winds howl across the barren landscape, driving snow and chilling the air even further. Yet in summer, the tundra bursts to life. Wildflowers carpet the ground, migratory birds flock to the region, and animals like caribou and musk oxen graze on the sparse vegetation. So what exactly defines the tundra climate? It's all about temperature. To qualify as tundra, a region must have an average temperature between 0 degrees Celsius and 10 degrees Celsius during the warmest month. This narrow range is critical. Any colder, and even the toughest plants can't grow. Any warmer, and trees start to take root, transforming the tundra into taiga or boreal forest. But temperature alone doesn't paint the full picture. The tundra is also defined by permafrost, a layer of soil that remains frozen year-round. Permafrost can extend hundreds of meters deep, creating a barrier that prevents water from draining away. The result? A patchwork of lakes, bogs, and swamps dotting the tundra landscape. Despite the harsh conditions, life finds a way in the tundra. Plants like mosses, lichens, and hardy grasses thrive here, adapting to the cold in the short growing season. Many tundra plants are small and low to the ground, hugging the earth for warmth and protection from the wind. Animals, too, have evolved to cope with the tundra's challenges. Caribou, also known as reindeer, migrate vast distances in search of food. Musk oxen, with their thick, woolly coats, are built to withstand the cold. And arctic foxes change their coat color with the seasons, turning white in winter to blend in with the snow. For the people who call the tundra home, like the Inuit of North America, life revolves around hunting and fishing. Caribou, seals, and even whales provide food, clothing, and other essentials. It's a challenging way of life, but one that is deeply connected to the land and its rhythms. The tundra may seem remote and inhospitable, but it plays a critical role in Earth's climate. The permafrost locks away vast amounts of carbon, preventing it from entering the atmosphere as greenhouse gases. But as the planet warms, the permafrost is starting to thaw, releasing that carbon and amplifying climate change. This is just one of the many ways that the tundra is feeling the heat of a changing climate. Rising temperatures are altering plant communities, shrinking the habitat for species like polar bears and transforming the very landscape itself. So what can we do to protect this fragile and important ecosystem? The first step is understanding. By learning about the tundra, its inhabitants, and the challenges it faces, we can begin to appreciate its value and its vulnerability. We can also support conservation efforts, from protecting critical habitats to reducing our carbon footprint. The tundra may be far from the hustle and bustle of modern life, but it's an integral part of our planet's tapestry. Its stark beauty, incredible adaptations, and vital role in the global climate make it a place worth knowing and worth preserving. Thank you for joining us today. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more insightful content.